this lecture, we are going to see static testing basics and we'll cover the overview of static testing. There are three learning objectives in this session. First, recognize types of software work product that can be examined by the different static testing techniques. Second, use examples to describe the value of static testing. And third, explain the difference between static and dynamic techniques, considering objectives, types of defects to be identified, and the role of these techniques within the software lifecycle. First, understand what is static testing? Testing a work product without the work product being executed. Let's see a very simple example. Suppose this is a requirement. Light shall glow red once sensor detect 150 km per hour. I'm sure you found the defect in the requirement. First, spelling of sensor is wrong and unit of temperature is mentioned as kilometer per hour instead of degree. We found these defects just by reading requirement. Such type of testing is called static testing and is defined as testing a work product without the work product being executed. We can perform static testing in two ways. And the two different ways are manual examination and tool-driven evaluation. Example of manual evaluation is reviews and tool-driven evaluation is static analysis. We saw this example where we read the requirement and found few mistakes. We did it manually and this type of static testing is called review. Whereas if there is a software which can find spelling mistakes and provide the report directly, then such testing is called tool-driven examination because tool helped us to find the mistake. This comes under static analysis. So with this example, it's clear that we can perform static testing in two ways, by reviewing the work product, which is manual examination, or by static analysis, which is tool-driven examination. Static analysis is important for the safety of critical computer systems, for example, aviation, medical, or nuclear software, and etc. Second example is security testing, like in banking domain. And the last point is static analysis is also often incorporated into automated software, build, and distribution tools, for example, in agile development, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment.